Do y'all like those look and find, search and find books? I sure do. This is a really good one, and we're going to read the story tonight of Israel and the Five Kings from Joshua chapter 10. But uh, you guys must have helped me out, must have prayed really hard, because God helped me find my mug. The lost is found. I put it in the dishwasher and forgot to look in there. Silly me. Anyway, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. There you go. All right, I'm going to read this out of my Bible. And while I'm reading that, you all can look at the pictures. But uh, before, while I'm getting things settled, let's look at our puzzle that Duffy's been working on for this week. Every piece of the puzzle is there now except two. So two of them are not in the right spot, but the rest of them are. So I'll give you a few seconds to look there while I get my spot in my Bible. And then you can look at this picture book while I read our Bible story for tonight. All right. Have you had enough time to look at Duffy's puzzle? Okay. We're going to get started in the book of Joshua, chapter 10. You know, I don't really want to go to bed. I always want to stay up later. Do you ever wish you could just make time stop so you could stay and play and play and play and play and not have to go to bed? Well, it would be really cool if we could just make time stop and the sun stand still. Guess what? God does that in tonight's story. Now, Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, heard that Joshua had taken Ai and totally destroyed it, doing to Ai and its king as he had done to Jericho and its king, and that the people of Gibeon had made a treaty of peace with Israel and were living near them. He and his people were very much alarmed at this, because Gibeon was an important city like one of the royal cities. It was larger than Ai, and all its men were good fighters. So Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, appealed to Hotham, king of, king of Hebron, Piram, king of Jamuth, Japhia, king of Lashix, and Debir, king of Eglon, come up and help me against Gibeon, he said, because it has made peace with Joshua and the Israelites. Now, if I pronounce those right, I don't know, but you know the good thing is, nobody that was alive then is alive now to correct us. So we just do the best we can. God, God understands. So then the five kings of the Amorites, the kings of Jerusalem, Hebron, Jarmuth, Lashish, and Eglon, joined forces. They moved up with their troops and took up positions against Gibeon and attacked it. Now for you Lord of the Rings fans out there, you might recognize the Battle of the Five Armies from The Hobbit. I wonder if they got inspiration from here. So Joshua marched up from Gilgal with his entire army, including all the best fighting men. The Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid of them. I have given them into your hand. Not one of them will be able to withstand you. After an all-night march from Gilgal, Joshua took them by surprise, and the Lord threw them into confusion before Israel, who defeated them in great victory at Gibeon. Israel pursued them along the road going up to Beth Horon and cut them down all the way to Azekah and Makedah. As they had fled before Israel on the road down from Beth Horon to Azekah, the Lord hurled large hailstones down on them from the sky, and more of them died from the hailstones and were killed by the swords of the Israelites. On the day the Lord gave the Amorites over to Israel, Joshua said to the Lord in his presence of Israel, O sun, stand still over Gibeon, O moon, over the valley of Ajalon. So the sun stood still, and the moon stopped, till the nations avenged itself on its enemies. As it was written in the book of Jashar, the sun stopped in the middle of the sky, and delayed going down about a full day. There has never been a day like it before or since, a day when the Lord listened to a man. Surely the Lord was fighting for Israel. Then Joshua returned with all of Israel to the fighting camp at Gilgal. I think that's an amazing story that God stopped the sun for Joshua to finish the battle and let the Israelites win. Hope you were able to find all the hidden things in our puzzle today. And... You've already had a chance to look at the puzzle. When we come back tomorrow, the puzzle will be complete and we'll know what our special story is. Let's go to the Lord in prayer in three, two, one. Dear God, we love you and we thank you for Jesus. Thank you, God, for people like Joshua who obeyed you. And Lord, we thank you for the great stories like this that we read from the Bible that would give us faith that you can do anything. God, forgive us where we fail you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take care, kids. Good night. See you tomorrow. And thanks for praying for my mug. I'm so glad we found it.